There are some new GPT-5 features that make this version of ChatGPT 20 times more powerful than the last one. And there are four main improvements that they've done. The first is it has access to more data. This means it can answer questions and complete tasks that were not possible before because it did and have enough training data. It also makes it smarter at answering factual questions. For example, it will know the most up-to-date information about topic as long as they are publicly available on the internet. So you can ask it things like what is the capital of France or who won the Soccer World Cup in 2020 to and it will be able to answer those questions correctly. Previously, it would have had trouble answering these questions because it wasn't trained on any data from after 2021. Another feature is that it is better at understanding context. What this means is that it can remember what you talked about earlier in the conversation and use that information to answer your questions. For example, let's say you start a conversation by asking, what is the best way to get from London to Paris? And then you follow up with, how long does it take? Well, it should be able to answer your question without an issue because it understands that when you asked about the best way to get from London to Paris, you're talking about travel time. If it didn't understand context, it might try to answer your question by giving you travel options again, even though you already asked for travel time. The next thing is that it's more multilingual. Now, it can communicate in over 30 different languages, which is great if you want to use it to talk to someone who doesn't speak English. However, its best language is still English. That's because that's the language that it was primarily trained on. But don't worry, it's pretty good at switching between languages during a conversation too. For example, if you start a conversation in English and then switch to Spanish, it will be able to keep the conversation going without an issue. The final improvement is that it's more creative. What this means is that it can come up with new ideas and solutions that have and been thought of before. For example, let's say you ask it, how can I market my new business? Well, it should be able to come up with some creative marketing ideas that you may have never thought of before. If it wasn't creative, it might just tell you to do things like create a website and social media accounts, which are pretty standard marketing tactics that everyone knows about already. So those are the four main improvements with GPT-5, but now I am gonna show you 10 new features that it has that you should definitely check out. The first is that you can now ask it to summarize text. So for example, if you paste in a long article, you can ask it to summarize it into a few sentences and it will do it perfectly. Or you can also paste in a long paragraph and ask it to summarize it into bullet points. This is extremely useful because it basically saves you a lot of time that you would normally spend reading through all that text. You can also upload up to 100 files at once and then ask it to summarize them. These can be PDFs, Word docs, PowerPoints, Excel sheets, whatever you want. The second new feature is that you can now ask it to write code. This includes multiple different types of coding languages. So for example, let's say you want to create a simple calculator in Python. You can ask it to write the code for that and it will do it exactly as you requested. You can also ask it to debug code that you've already written so you do and have to go through and figure it out yourself. For example, you could say, I wrote this code but it keeps giving me an error. Can you help me debug it and then paste in your buggy code and it will find the error and fix it for you? It also knows a lot about different coding frameworks and libraries. So for example, you could ask it, what are the best libraries to use for data analysis in Python and it will tell you which ones it recommends and why. The third feature is that you can now ask it to write music. For example, you could say write a song about how useful ChatGPT is and then choose what genre of music it should be and how long the song should be and it will write the music and lyrics for you. Now, obviously, it's not gonna sound as good as songs that humans write. For example, it doesn't really understand things like melody or harmony very well yet. But if you're a musician, this could be really helpful for getting inspiration for new songs or coming up with chord progressions that you've never thought of before. 
The fourth feature is that you can now ask it to design things. This includes designing things like logos, websites, and even user interfaces for apps. For example, you could say, I want to create a logo for a new coffee shop called The Daily Grind. I want it to be a minimalist style logo with a coffee cup and the text of the business name. Can you help me design it? And then specify what colors you want and what fonts you want and it will generate a logo for you based on your requests. You can then choose to download the logo in multiple different file formats. You can also do this for things like websites and app user interfaces. For example, you could say, I want to create a website for my new online store. I want it to have a modern and clean design with a header image that shows a variety of products that I sell and a clear call to action button. Can you help me design it? And then you would describe what kind of products you sell and what the call to action is for and it will generate a design for you based on your requests. The fifth feature is that you can now ask it to plan trips. So for example, you could say, I want to take a trip to Italy. I want to visit Rome, Venice, and Florence. How long should I stay in each city and what are some must-see attractions in each place? And it will provide you with an itinerary based on your requests. You can also ask it to create a budget for your trip based on things like how much you want to spend on food, accommodation, and activities, and it will create a budget for you. The sixth feature is that you can now ask it to create presentations. For example, you could say, create a presentation about the benefits of exercise. I wanted to include information about the physical and mental health benefits and what the recommended amount of exercise is each week, and then choose what type of slides you want. For example, you could say I want it to be a simple presentation with minimal text and lots of images. And then you can specify things like the color scheme and the font, and it will create the presentation for you. You can then download each slide as a separate image or you can download it as a PDF. The seventh feature is that you can now ask it to research topics and provide you with a summary of the key findings. So for example, you could say, research the effects of social media on mental health and provide a summary of the key findings from the studies that have been conducted. And it will provide you with a summary of the research and the key findings. This can be extremely helpful you re trying to learn about a new topic or if you re conducting research for a project. The eighth feature is that you can now ask it to create tables and charts. So, for example, you could say, create a table showing the population of the top 10 most populated cities in the world, and then choose what type of table you want and how you want the data presented. You can also do this for charts. For example, you could say, create a chart showing the average temperature in London over the course of a year, and then choose what type of chart you want and how you want the data presented. The ninth feature is that you can now ask it to write scripts. This includes writing scripts for videos, podcasts, and even plays. So for example, you could say, write a script for a five minute video about the benefits of exercise, and then choose what type of video you want and what tone you want the script to be written in. For example, you could say you want it to be a casual and informative video. The 10th feature is that you can now ask it to create outlines. This includes creating outlines for essays, articles, and even speeches. So for example, you could say, create an outline for an essay discussing the benefits of exercise, and then choose what type of essay you want and what the main arguments are. For example, you could say you want it to be an argumentative essay arguing that exercise is beneficial for both physical and mental health. So those are 10 new GPT-5 features that you should definitely check out. I think that ChatGPT is an incredibly useful tool that can be used for a variety of purposes. Whether you're looking to improve your productivity, learn new things, or just have some fun, I think that ChatGPT is definitely worth checking out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.